There are currently quite a few areas of unmet need, uh, AMD being a chronic disease. I think first of all, currently we have anti-VEGF therapy, but uh, it requires long-term and multiple injections. That's one unmet need. And then moving forward, there are areas that VEGF is not the answer to, such as areas of fibrosis and geographic atrophy. And I suppose generally reversing aging is something we would like to work towards. In Asian patients, um, uh, there is a, uh, a large proportion of patients with the polypoidal choroidal vasculopathy, PCV subtype. They tend to present with more PEDs and hemorrhagic presentations. And in addition, there is a, a, a larger group of patients who present with what we call pachychoroid neovasculopathy. And this is a new area that is being investigated. There is still a lot that we need to learn whether uh, this is a subgroup of AMD or whether there are differences in the etiology. Choroidal thickness has been a very interesting area in the uh, evaluation of AMD. Um, in typical AMD, we would, we would associate uh, aging with thinning of the choroid and leading to VEGF uh, overexpression, leading to new vascularization. However, in Asian subtypes in particular, for example, in PCV as well as pachychoroid neovasculopathy, we see that there is a lot of patients with a background of unexpectedly thick choroid. So um, we're still trying to understand what is the uh, interplay between these factors. So some groups have suggested that eyes with thick choroid may not respond very well to anti-VEGF monotherapy and others have investigated whether adding PDT may modulate the abnormally thickened choroid. So these are areas we would like to look into in the future.